Sam Bankman-Fried, who was previously on the covers of Forbes and Fortune, has seen nearly every aspect of his life ruined. His $32 billion empire, FTX, collapsed in a matter of days, and Sam has now been detained by Bahamian officials in order to be extradited to the United States. So what happened to FTX? And how did Sam Bankman-Fried go from being the wealthiest man in crypto to a humiliated convict? In today's video, we'll cover that topic as well as the events that led to the FTX exchange's collapse. So without wasting any time, let's get into the topic. Sam Bankman's empire began to fall apart a few weeks ago when the leaked balance sheet, the financial journal of one of its enterprises, reveals that the foundation of his empire was not really secure. This marked the start of FTX's downward spiral. The decline of FTX occurred over the course of 10 consecutive days in November 2022. First, on November 2nd, Coindesk released a piece detailing Bankman Freed's connection to Alameda Research, a quant trading business he also manages. The story claims that $5 billion has been invested in FTT, FTX's native token, by the Alameda Investment Foundation. As a result of this, many people in the cryptocurrency community became concerned about the hidden leverage and future viability of Bankman-style firms. Shortly after the FTX news broke, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, Binance, said that it would sell all 23 million FTT tokens in its possession, which were then worth roughly $529 million. As a direct result of the occurrence, the next day FTX faced a liquidity issue. Bankman assured FTX investors that their money was secure, but in the days after the publication of the Coindesk report, clients demanded withdrawals totaling $6 billion. Sam Bankman Freed went to possible venture capitalist backers to salvage his company, but he was unable to secure any investment, and the value of FTT dropped by 80% in the following two days. After that, FTX sought aid from Binance. Binance stated on November 8th that they had entered into a non-binding agreement to purchase FTX's worldwide business. However, the next day, Binance quickly backed out of the agreement. Binance stated that it was suspending the FTX agreement owing to concerns identified during corporate due diligence, including improper management of user assets. CZ has stated that Sam Bankman has mismanaged client funds to a great extent, and we can't believe the FTX data anymore. In reality, the actions of Bankman Freed and FTX were directly opposed to the transparency and decentralization that are key to the ethos of cryptocurrencies. This is because decentralization is key to the crypto idea, and Bankman Freed and FTX actively worked against it. There's many new claims that Sam Bankman Freed unlawfully moved $10 billion from FTX to his own bankrupt hedge fund, Alameda Research. Bankman Freed is also rumored to have personally given a significant amount of investor shares during the previous election cycle. It was also discovered that the enormous financial backing Bankman Meteoric Freed got into the 2020 election was the primary factor in their meteoric climb to popularity. Rumors have circulated that President Joe Biden was also going to support a Bankman Freed backed political action group in the next political cycle. Next, on November 10th, the Bahamas Securities Authority placed a freeze on the assets of FTX Digital Markets in response to Binance's rejection of the exchange and the revelation that Bankman Freed needs at least $8 billion in cash to save the exchange. On the same day, the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation released a statement saying that an investigation into FTX would begin. On November 11th, 2022, FTX filed for bankruptcy due to an extraordinary rise in consumer withdrawals. Sam Bankman-Fried claims that there are not enough liquid assets and FTX to keep up with customer demand. FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on the same day, which suggests that more than 130 related firms were also affected. In its bankruptcy filing, FTX said that the value of all its assets and debts was between $10 billion and $50 billion. Last but not least, Sam Bankman-Fried was the cause of the downfall of his own $32 billion enterprise. The FTX jurisdiction was built on a huge scam that went on for years and was revealed in a single article. The fraud involved the misappropriation of client assets and the covert funding of his other company. Further, it is believed that over a million people have lost money as a direct result of the FTX's demise. 
The government and the Security Commission must collaborate to develop a solution to mitigate the damage done by the loss of their assets and savings and to bring the perpetrator to justice. That's all for today's video, guys. What do you believe the future holds for cryptocurrencies in light of the recent FTX scandal? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, cheers!